Namor the First, Prince of Atlantis, Emperor of the Deep, Lord of the Seven Seas, returns to his domain in fabled Atlantis to save his throne from warlord Krang, who tried to seize it during his absence. My prince, at last you have returned. Quickly, Dorma, how stands my kingdom? Alas, it is your kingdom no longer, for Krang has already seized your throne. But all is not lost. The people still stand with their rightful prince. Let me help you, Namor. Together we can regain your crown. Unhand me, woman. Namor needs no help. Again you reject me and scorn my love. But take heed, my prince. If I cannot have you, no one shall. It is your crown that stands between us. Then let it be lost to you forever. Guards, he is here. Seize him. My palace guards, you dare strike out against your prince? Our prince no more. Careful. He is not to be harmed. He is as strong as ever. Only the hydro ray can stop him. Now bring him to Krang. Let him see that he has lost his throne forever. For only then may I hope to win his heart. Krang, your regal trappings ill become so monumental a traitor. Silence, Namor. You have deserted your people for the last time. It is you who are the traitor. Though you were born a prince of Atlantis, your heart belongs to the surface world. While your people cried for vengeance upon the humans, you pleaded the cause for peace. You mouth the words of a madman, Krang. Hold your tongue whilst speaks the king. <laughs> I shall lead an invasion of the surface world. Atlantis once again shall rule the earth. You'll pay dearly for this. To the dungeons with him. I'll hear no more. May Mother First, bound and helpless, and yet I shall escape. I shall regain my throne. I must be true to my destiny. Lady Dorma. I offered you my heart, Namor, but you spurned my love. Is this watery dungeon more to your liking? Have you come to gloat, my lady? No. My heart would not permit me to stay away. There is still time to erase your treasonous deed. With your help, I can still escape and vanquish Krang. Never! The people now support him. You cannot battle all of Atlantis. But I can earn the loyalty once again. Have you forgotten the enchanted trident of King Neptune? That would be his name. And how he told the people of Atlantis that the jewel trident had long been the symbol of his imperial power. But the time had come for him to begin the sleep of ages. And when he left Atlantis for the last time, he took his trident with him to hide it in a secret place until the day a pretender seized the throne. Then his rightful heir should seek and find the trident. And all who beheld it would know the crown was his. Of course I remember. But he left deadly clues and the one who accepts the quest must face fantastic dangers every step of the way. What does danger matter? Only one thing can free me. By the love you profess, I command you to bring me the Vibra Key. What? You hold it even now? Of course, my prince. Turn around and I will free your hands. I shall remember, my lady, when I am again Prince of Atlantis. And now farewell. Until the trident or death be mine. Farewell, my prince. May Neptune watch over you. Not a living being knows where the trident is hidden. Only the starting point. Where the first clue is to be found, it is there I must begin. Others before him have sought the hidden trident. Now my loved one takes up the quest, and if death be his destiny, then till the end of my days I shall know that I in part am to blame. Namor now approaches the Cave of Shadows, my lord. Good. Once he has entered the cave, you know what to do. What is this? Have I helped lead my prince into a trap? Do you take me for a fool, Dorma? I have had you watched every moment since Namor's return. Somewhere ahead is the first clue. 
that shell with Neptune's mark. It is what I seek, but it is guarded by a giant killer squid. It recoils in bewilderment. Now is my chance to seize the fateful shell and... I have it. Now to wait. The cave mouth is sealed shut. Krang must have learned of my quest. This is his handwork. And the squid is almost upon me. There is no other way out. I'm trapped. Trapped with a killer whose strength would dwarf a hundred submariners. Will Prince Namor escape and continue his quest for Neptune's trident? The giant squid begins to complete its embrace of doom. The squid is upon me. I am trapped. He has me in his grasp. If I don't act now, even the power of the mighty submariner will be to no avail. Is there no hope? Is this to be the end? I cannot fail. I must be true to my royal heritage. The Prince of Atlantis must battle on till victory. This shell with Neptune's mark was to be a clue to where the enchanted trident is hidden. Now it has become my only weapon, for a prince of the blood can never surrender. Was I not born Namor, the avenging son? And hurled by the most powerful arm beneath the sea, the glistening object becomes as destructive as a guided missile. As it severs the rampaging monster's deadly tentacles. While back in the palace royal, the ambitious warlord Krang has angrily witnessed Namor's triumph. He has defeated the squid, but still he is sealed within the cavern. I cannot simply assume that he shall not escape again. I must set a deadly trap. But my lord Krang, it is written that no one may interfere with the royal quest. Silence, Lady Dorma. Think you I don't know your heart belongs to Namor? Twas you who sent him on yon quest, thinking he would thus regain his throne. And I permitted it. For I know your love can never be mine whilst Namor lives. But I promise you that before this quest is ended, the Submariner shall die and the throne of Atlantis will forever be Krang's. Then you purposely let me send him to his doom. <laughs> of course. With Namor dead, you shall become my queen. Until that joyous moment, you may leave my royal presence. If death claims my prince, then my fate matters not, for my heart shall have turned to ashes within me. While Dorma weeps, within the sealed cavern, the desperate prince stares at the faithful shell that has saved his life. As a nosum apparition begins to form above the vanquished squid. Well done, valiant one. The spirit image of Father Neptune has risen from the shell.